welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and in this video we will learn how to create a timer in microsoft excel friends this question is frequently asked in vba developer interviews to create a timer by using the vba so today i will tell you how we can create a timer in microsoft excel so as you are seeing my screen i have created this timer and i have three buttons one is start stop and reset so if i will click on start you can see the timer has been started now i can stop this timer if i will click on stop now it has been stopped if i will click start again then it is starting from uh, the same time okay and if i will reset this then you can see now it is zero and it has been stopped also we can start it again so i'll tell you how we can create this in best easy way so let's start so i'm going to add a new workbook here i'm pressing ctrl n so you can see a new workbook has been added so i will create let's say i'm taking this area merge it and font is i'm taking color as white font i'm taking as let's say this white and background is black and we can change font size also so i'm taking font size 120 or let's say 100 here i'm taking font impact okay now i'll change the format from the format sales here in time I'll take this format so now we have the time format here we will create a small support table in this table I'll take current status and in the second number I'll take start time then i'll take now here i'll take difference okay so current status will be start or stop so now i'll add and here i'll take now minus this q3 minus q2 okay and the value of this timer will be this difference okay friends now i'll go to the developer tab and i'll go to the visual basic or you can press alt f11 also here this is the workbook timer in excel workbook but we are working in book one now so i will insert a new module here and i will create a subroutine start timer okay now in start timer first of all i will declare the worksheet dim sh edge worksheet set sh equal to this workbook dot seats so we are working on seat one so i'll take sheet one now I will check ss dot range. We are working on this book one. This Q one value. When I will click on start, then start macro will run. This is start timer will run. And first of all, what it will do? It will change the Q one value. So whatever the value is available on Q one, it will put a start there start the current status basically now we will take the start time but we will take it conditionally like if ss dot range q2 q2 is the current time start time sorry in this one q2 
if q2 dot value is equal to blank then ss dot range q2 dot value will be now okay now here we will put a label let's say i'm putting x label x and first of all in the label i'll take vva dot do events or you can take only do events also so friends uh, i would like to tell you about the do ev events we use the do events to while uh, we are running a loop basically we are going to running a loop by using the label and go to statement so this uh, do event functionality enable us to work or to click on the worksheet while a macro is running and it also show us the progress like the time is getting changed so we will be able to see the changes during the running the macro okay so now here uh, i'm taking bba.do events now first of all i'll put a condition to the exit this is start timer macro so the condition will be ss dot range q2 dot value sorry q1 not q2 because current status is uh, q1 right if this is stop then let me put if here then it will exit the subroutine okay so if here the value is stopped then this macro will be stopped but in the starting it cannot be stopped because we are changing the value okay now i'll put uh, this uh, now time here on q3 so I'll take ss dot range q3 dot value equal to now and here I will put go to x so this uh, label will run again again and again until the q1 value is not stopped okay so I'm just copying this and i'm inserting another module here and just paste, pasting it here now i will create stop timer so i will use the same coding just remove this i'm taking q1 dot value is equal to stop only so friends just look at this if i will take the q1 value as stop then if start timer is running and it will find that q1 value is stop then it will exit the start timer so let me tell you how it will work i will insert few shapes let's say i'm taking this shape you can choose shape style from here right click edit text i'm taking it as start and right click uh, sorry let me copy and so we will rename this button as stop copy this and paste again now the third button will be for reset okay so we have written the code for start and stop now let me change the color you can take any other color so and i'm assigning the macro for assign macro right click on the button and go to the assign macro here in macros in i will choose this bug book and start timer for stop i will take stop timer now 
this one remove the grid lines from here now check start you can see it's working if i will stop it you can see stop has been written here that's the reason it has been stopped if i will click start then you can see start will be here okay so now we will write the code to reset it so i'm again going to the visual basic so i'm just copying a stop timer macros code and going to add a new module and pasting it here i will change the name of this macro as reset timer same code here will be stop and ss dot range to reset this i will remove these value both the value okay q2 and q3 q2 and q3 dot clear contents that's it now check if i will click on reset okay i have not assigned the macro sorry right click and assign macro so you can see uh, this uh, reset okay so friends uh, as i will i was telling you about the uh, do events functionality so we are able to click any of the cell while macro is running even i am able to typing something here okay this is just due to do events okay friends and stop the macro if i will click on reset then you can see it is 000 and the value has been removed from here also if i will click on start then it will start from the starting okay so friends that's how you can create a timer in visual basic and excel i hope you have enjoyed this video friends i will upload this excel file to my google drive you can download it from there Thank you so much for the watching.